life. If you have diabetes, accept my challenge at America's Diabetes Challenge. Dreaming of a kitchen full of custom countertops? StoneStatements.com. News, traffic, and weather. News Radio 700 WLW, Cincinnati. Donald Trump's new request tonight from a federal court. This is the 6 o'clock report. I'm Matt Reese. Breaking now, more fallout from the search of Donald Trump's home. The former president is asking a federal court now to appoint what's called a special master. That person would review the documents that were taken by the FBI from his estate in Florida two weeks ago tonight. A special master would examine what was taken in the recent FBI search of former President Trump's home and weed out what is potentially subject to executive or attorney-client privilege. Trump's attorney said the special master is needed to preserve the sanctity of executive communications and other privileged materials. The filing also seeks an injunction that would prevent federal prosecutors from any further review of the seized materials until there's a special master. Trump also wants a more detailed receipt of what the FBI took. Aaron Katursky, ABC News, New York. You're checking your drive home tonight. The latest traffic and weather together, Rob Williams. From the UC Health Traffic Center, the Pelvic Health Center at UC Health is the region's only pelvic health center staffed by fellowship-trained urogynecologists from both gynecology and urology. A few slow spots remaining this evening. Northbound 75 slows between the lateral and paddock, then Shepherd Lane to Glendale Milford Road. A slowdown southbound between 7th Street and the Cut in the Hill, and 71 slows between Ridge and Stewart. Foster Mainville Road remains closed between Hopkins and Sycamore Street. Duke is replacing a utility pole, and 128 remains congested between Singletree and Furlong and Cleves due to an accident there. Rob Williams, News Radio 700 WLW. Now, the latest forecast from the Advanced Industry Weather Center. Are you afraid of the dentist? At Advanced Industry, we get it. To learn more about how IV sedation can change your life, visit nofeardentist.com. Through the afternoon and evening, staying mostly cloudy with a quick shower or two popping up in some communities. Not everybody will see this. Most of us actually staying dry as we go through the evening. Overall, where we do see the rain, we could see a quick tenth of an inch or less. Through the overnight, mostly clear as skies start to clear out. We're down to 62 with a light north wind, which means patchy fog could be possible. And then Tuesday, beautiful 83 degrees with mostly sunny skies. From your severe weather station, I'm 9 First Warning. Meteorologist Brandon Spinner, News Radio 700 WLW. Radar is all clear. We have 80 degrees in Cincinnati. Turns out a six-year-old girl was killed yesterday in that murder-suicide in Mount Healthy. Police say it appears the child killed by her dad, who then killed himself at an apartment in the 1800 block of Lake Knoll Drive. Police in Mount Healthy had been called there for a report of a custody battle. Child identified as Isla Johnson, father, 40-year-old Eric Johnson, and police say the father was a convicted felon who was not allowed to have a gun. Deadly wreck in Butler County this afternoon. An SUV and a truck that was hauling cars collided on Hamilton Eaton Road between Wayne Milford and Eaton Roads. About 12.30 this afternoon, the driver of the SUV was killed. A leader in local heart research identified as the man who was killed riding his bike Saturday morning in Indian Hill, Dr. Jeff Robbins, hit by a vehicle that Juvenile was behind the wheel of. It happened at Given and Beach Trail. Indian Hill Rangers have released no other information and have not said whether there will be any charges yet. What's the future of the Western and Southern Open? New ownership and their speculation about a new home for that tournament in the coming years. It brought in over 200,000 people from 30 different countries. Huge crowds for the Western and Southern Tennis Tournament this year. Van had a $70 million economic impact on the Tri-State, but his future is cloudy. Calendar dates have been sold to an out-of-town billionaire, and Jason Williams with the Inquirer writes, he wouldn't be surprised if the tournament leaves Greater Cincinnati. Female winner Caroline Garcia says she loved playing here, but admits she didn't see a whole lot of the Tri-State. Off the court this week, how have you enjoyed your time in Cincinnati? Not really. Because I was finishing late every single time, so I did not enjoy anything unless eating on my couch at 11 p.m. rice and chicken, so not much. (laughs)
Brian Combs, News Radio 700 WLW. A oh, rough start to the week on Wall Street. The closing bell, the Dow lost 643 points. S&P 500 fell 90. And the NASDAQ dropping 323 points. Reds at Philadelphia tonight inside pitch in just a moment. The first pitch, 705 right here on the big one. Exactly 605 in Cincinnati. Next news at 630, Matt Reese. News Radio 700 WLW. The following is a special sports presentation on 700 WLW. This is Cincinnati Reds baseball. That's way back. It's gone. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Gone. Grand slam. High deep. Gone. It's out of right field. Coming up, the Wigs get in some NL East action as they take on the Phillies in the city of brotherly love. Sounds kind of romantic, doesn't it? Prepare yourself. First pitch is coming your way on 700 WLW, the home of the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds are on the radio. This is the RNL Carriers Inside Pitch, brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's, perfect for the ball game. Brand Stetter's Kangaroo, celebrating over 20 years as your hometown roofing expert. Bud Herbert Motors. Cincinnati's hometown equipment dealer. Twin Peaks in Florence and Westchester. Eats, drinks, scenic views. Delta Dental. Building healthy, smart, vibrant communities for all. DeltaOH.com. AE Door and Window Company. They sell the best and service the rest. And by RNL Carriers. Partner with a family owned LTL provider at RLC.com. The Reds are on the radio. Inside Pitch on 700 WLW, the home of the Cincinnati Reds. Stop number two on the Reds' road trip has them in Philly for the opener of a four-game series. Hey, welcome into the RNL Carriers Inside Pitch. I'm Lance McAllister. Baseball tonight coming your way in just over an hour from now. There's plenty of ground to cover between now and then. Let's welcome in our first guest. He has been the voice of the AA Chattanooga Lookouts, the Reds affiliate, since 1989. In his 33rd season, over 5,200 games called. A legendary broadcasting career in the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, the Southern League Hall of Fame, and I thought, who better to turn to to get thoughts on the man everybody's talking about here in Cincinnati? That would be L.A. De La Cruz and more. Let's welcome in Larry Ward. Larry Lance McAllister, how are you? I need to get a better opening for my show, for crying out loud. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I've never heard that, because I'm always on the air when you guys get on the air, so there you go. <laughs> it is great to hear your voice, and I'll ask you the perfect question. You've seen Ellie De La Cruz for 26 games. Oh. What kind of impression has he made? Well, you know, the first two at-bats are strikeouts usually, and the next two are thunderous, either long ball gone or some sort of gap-type hit off the wall that drives in one or two runs. The kid has the tools. The question now is, you got to put the mental with the physical every every at bat, and sometimes he gets up there, gets a little anxious, and he gets he gets a little overwhelmed, but he corrects that eventually. The other night he struck out the first two times, then he hit a home run. Uh, that's that's kind of his modus operandi. The the first two at bats are usually so so or strikeouts, and the next two produce runs or base hits. Larry, he is tall and lanky. Does he appear capable of staying at shortstop from what you've seen? You know, he's played at second, he's played at short, and he's played at third. I think his best spot is shortstop. He made a play the other night uh, down in uh, Madison when we were playing the Rocket City, quote-unquote, trash pandas, that went deep to short. He ended up behind the third baseman, getting the ball on the outfield grass through across his body and threw the guy out by three steps. Uh, it was unbelievable. It was so big league. It wanted, it, it made you want to cry. That's how <laughs> good he can be. He is awesome when he really, really performs well. I mean, it, it was fantastic. Let's talk about the other half at times of the double play combo. The uh, first round pick of the Reds last year out of UCLA. Tell us about Matt McClain. Matt McClain, uh, you know, he started every game at shortstop the uh, first half of the season practically. And then De La Cruz came along, and uh, they've been switching out. Matt has 
He has played even third base, uh, which is no problem with his arm. He's got arm strength out the wazoo. But uh, at second base, he's a little tentative, it seems like. He had a couple of poopas the other night, and, and it didn't cost any runs, but it cost him. He'll get to it because he knows how to move. He's got the agility. He just does not waste any time following the play the way it is. I like him in second base, personally, much better than third. He, he can play shortstop, and he plays it well, but not as well as De La Cruz. Talking with the outstanding play-by-play voice of the Chattanooga Lookouts, Larry Ward, tonight on the inside pitch. You've seen one of the new guys um, who came over in the Tyler Mallet trade, Christian Encarnacion Strand. Appears to have some serious pop. He's got 28 home runs so far this season. Uh, your thoughts on him? <laughs> If if he's not in the big leagues by the, the, this time next year, uh, there's something wrong. If he if he creates a problem for himself, that's what will be wrong. But I don't think he will. He's a he's a he's one of the type of player that is totally in concert with what's in front of him. That I can tell. He. Loves the game, as you can see, but what he does is the concentration. He takes care of business and what's in front of him, not what he thinks should be in front of him. You know what I mean? I mean, some yeah. players go to the plate and go, well, you know, eh. no, no. <laughs> he goes to the plate. There's a man in second. I got to drive him in. Somehow I got to drive him in. Whether I hit a home run or I hit it off the wall or I dink it down the right field line or wherever. I've got to drive him in. That's what I've got to do. And that's the kind of thinker I, that he shows me anyway. And a lot of guys, as they come along, they just go up and swing the bat. They don't, hang, they don't concentrate on what's in front of them, and he does. Larry, I've asked you about hitters. Let me ask you about arms. Is there a particular arm of late that has caught your eye on that staff? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there are some arms out there, all right. And we, we've, I don't know what's, what situation uh, we are really in. The, the, we have had leads this last series in, in, uh, with Rocket City. We had leads in, uh, what, four of six games, won one of those games. But the, the, the bullpen arms are lacking. The starting arms can't get to the fifth inning. Mm. Abbott pitched last night. He went four innings and threw what eighty nine pitches, eighty five pitches. You can't no. You if you're gonna throw four innings, you throw thirty eight pitches <laughs> or forty two pitches. And he's got to get past the fifth inning. He can't get past the fifth inning. He opened up with a win when he first came to us. Struck out twelve. He's had two games where he struck out eight, one game where he struck out nine. He struck out ten the other day, but no decision because he couldn't get past the fifth inning. And and that's where we are with our arms, with our uh, starters. They're still maturing to get past the fifth inning. He is Larry Ward, the double-A voice of the Chattanooga Lookouts. Larry, I really appreciate your perspective. Uh, great catching up with you. Always great hearing your voice. Hope we can talk again soon. Get, give me that opening, will you? I want to know who produces that opening. I, I don't want that opening. So, at any I will rate, work on that just for you. Friend, when you see Tommy Thrall, you tell him thank you, A, again, for his interview earlier in the year, and thank you for being a friend. I will do that. <laughs> thank you, Larry. Thank you, Lance. There you go, Larry Ward, double-A voice of the Chattanooga Lookouts, 33rd season, over 5,200 games. Think he's seen some talent come through that organization uh, over the years? Great perspective. Hey, let's take a look at tonight's starting pitchers, brought to you by Western and Southern Financial Group, helping to make Cincinnati the best place to live, work, and enjoy life. And Richter and Phillips, voted Cincinnati's best jeweler and best place to buy your engagement ring. For the Reds, they're going with the most of the time reliever in Luis Sessa. He gets the start tonight, 30-year-old right-hander Noah Syndergaard. The 29-year-old right-hander goes for the Phillies. He faced the Reds uh, recently, went seven innings of three-run baseball, needed just 77 pitches to take care of those seven innings. Actually, he worked into the eighth in that game that the Phillies won. And just a reminder, if you're headed to your next Reds game, please remember to buckle your seatbelt, a message from the Ohio Department of Public Safety. If you're not buckled up, what's holding you back? There's much more to get to. Baseball on the way, Reds and Phillies. It's the RNL Carriers inside pitch, 700 WLW.
Rocky here. Butterworth Motors is my equipment dealer. Their friendly and knowledgeable staff will make sure you find the right equipment for your unique